Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's D.A.B., and welcome back to the Disguy LP. We got to the gate of the Angelic Sanctuary, to the Seraphic Sanctuary, I believe they called it. We faced off some higher level demons. They had no items, so they weren't that bad, but we also got Curtis back. That was cool. He's a pretty now. Sucks to be him, I guess. So this is where the Seraph lives. I don't see much of value. Too bad. What was your reason for coming? Shh. Quiet. This is the Seraphic Sanctuary. Those without permission to be here must leave the premises immediately. Who are they? These are the angelic sentries. They will guard the Seraph at any cost. They are protected by a special force field, which is impervious to all forms of attack. That can't be! It must have a weakness! Analyze the force field, Thursday. Beep, beep, flip, beep. Analyzing force field. 20%, 55%, 90%. Analysis completed. It has no weakness. Invincible, invincible, invincible. What? That's not fair! <laughs> it doesn't matter if there's a weakness or not. All we gotta do is blast them away with our power. Etna! We'll show these angels what we think of their force fields. Okay, Prince. That had no effect. Impossible. <laughs> Seems like it's a little too much for you two. Now it's our turn. Jennifer, Thursday, let's show them how it's done. Okay, Gordon. Beep, beep, bleep, beep, Roger, Captain. Ultimate, Ultimate defender, defender formation, formation. Space, Space Triangle. triangle. Formation attack isn't powerful enough either? Are they truly invincible? It's not time to give up yet. Don't forget that you have me on your side. Let's combine our defender spirits together. True, True ultimate, ultimate defender formation. formation. Plasma, Plasma quartet! quartet. Something like that with a straight face. Laharl! All right, all right. So the point is we all attack at the same time, right? Then let's do it! On the count of three! One, two, three! Galaxy Omega! 
Destroyed the force field. We did it. Hey, Blonde, did I hear something about love and friendship just now? Yes, you did. So what about it? What do you mean, what about it? I keep telling you that I don't feel stuff like that. <laughs> Think whatever you want, Laharo. What did you say? Uh, Prince, now that their force fields are down, um, isn't this our chance? Yeah, but we'll continue this discussion later. Don't forget. Okay, okay. Whew. He hasn't gotten any less stubborn, that's for sure. Oh, well. Alrighty, what I just learned was in the canon of the game that Laharl and Etna together know Giga Fire and Ice. Sabrina. Amina. Please tell me your name rhymes too. Hannah. Damn it. Oh wow, yeah, they're stronger, but if it's just those three, I'm really not scared. And their HP isn't nearly as much to write home about. Their resistance is pretty damn good, though. That yours isn't. Never mind, just the lead ones. What is your sword? Worm Slayer. Alright. I'm not too scared here. I'm gonna try to divide and conquer, though. So, we're back to this old strategy. Curtis? I hope they don't, like, all attack from a distance. Good, good, good. That's what I wanted to happen. Curtis, I am sorry. Curtis, you get to live. You did your job. Thanks, buddy. What's the bonus on the map? Nothing I can really use too well. You're just gonna die. Plain and simple. But first one has to die is this one. Because... She has the big sword. I don't know. I guess they all have about the same equipment. Whatever. Okay, so... Ted? Omega Ice? Sparky? I think you can get where I need you to be, actually. With... A nice tri-burst. Let's see what this does first. I mean, I didn't see how good her defense was. Her resistance is kind of crap, so Ted should do a really good chunk here. Ted did indeed. Yeah, I guess you did need a little more damage. That's alright. Juan, can you do it with an Omega Ice? Okay. You do that. I gotta focus on this one, too. Brick, hit her with a Violent Storm. Edna, step back. Bruce, pummel her with a King of Beasts afterwards. Let's just see where this goes. I don't know if Juan's intelligence is high enough to kill her, but we're gonna find out. Not quite. Now, I'm hoping I have enough strength to kill, but I don't think I do. Well, maybe we do. Bruce hits pretty hard. Not hard enough, though, but they're not looking so great. Only hundred and... Um, Doodle, your healing abilities aren't really needed on this map. You're lucky. You're really lucky. I'll we'll go for a Dark Flash, see what that does. It hits multiple targets, so yeah, so not enough. You know what, Curtis... Oh, well, we don't want that. What does Rocket Punch do? Yeah, you know what? You've earned this. 
Get that kill, Curtis. Good job, Curtis. And now we bring out the big guns. Baharl, weaken the sword, sword wielder up for the turn. I'll just call it there. I'm good. You got a kill. Honestly, that's all that matters to me. Do proximal shot. And if you can't kill her, we will let Doodle kill her. But I'm pretty sure she's dead. Yep. Good job, Sparky. Wow, you're almost level 60. You're a higher level than Bruce right now. That is insane to me. Boss Fisher, what does this do? A lot. A lot, a lot. Good job, guys. We got the night vision, at least. Alright, well, this part was slightly shorter than the last one, but as I've said before, because every level is going to have a cutscene, and as you saw with the last one, sometimes a cutscene afterwards, I've got to call it there for this one. So thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.